good photography can give a programme its visual signature. Trwy i gwaith mae'r enwebion heno wedi dangos i bod nhw yn feistri yn ei meysydd amrywiol. And in this category, sponsored by St. David's Hotel and Spa, are three of the finest examples of that craft. Here are the nominees. I have to say, for one day only, I don't care what I get paid. I'll take that as my paycheck. Nathan McIntosh, fisherman, Rod Gilbert's work experience. Left at 5 a.m. this morning. It's getting on for 9 o'clock at night now. That is a long day. Kiefer Chan. Fog of Sex, stories from the front line of student sex work. I mean, like, my name was Chanel. It's just because I want to get their money. So, to get their money, you've got to lie. And you've got to make them fall in love, and you've got to lie to make love. Hayden Denman, Carl Jenkins, Pencerth Pencloud. No borders, whether you're from Korea or South Africa or the US, uh, it still touches the same heart. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... I knew this was going to happen. Kiefer Chan. Fog of Sex stories from the front line of student sex Okay, it's a bit unreal. Didn't think I'd be standing in front of everybody here tonight. Um, I mean, the real credit should have gone to the, um, the um, performers of the film, uh, all nine of them. They were wonderful. Uh, gave us very natural and convincing performance, so very easy for me to photograph. And also, uh, credit should have gone to the researchers who spent many years researching the project and also to Chris Morris, our director, and our producers, Chris and Richard, our visual influence. Um, it's, it's amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How does it feel to have won? Unreal, really. Yeah, completely unreal. So this is a complete uh, surprise. Very happy. <laughs> Good. Um, what was the overall effect you were trying to um, achieve and how did you decide on the shooting style for this uh, project? Well, the, the, the project was quite an important project, so um, the researchers have spent several years um, researching the, the subject. And the, the style we wanted to, to create was a, we, we wanted the people to feel like they're watching a film and so the, 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 the style we adopted was quite cinematic. Uh, but we, we want to also approach it in a very documentary uh, method. So using natural lights and, and just make it as natural and as realistic as we could. Uh, the, the performers, the, 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 the nine performers who was in the show, uh, they, they were wonderful. So they, they were very natural, very convincing, so it's very easy for me to photograph it. So. And um, what were the biggest challenges you faced, faced in making this programme? The biggest challenge really was the budget, you know, trying to be ambitious uh, and aim for um, a, a cinematic film, but the budget we had, it was quite difficult, but we, we worked with what we had and, and, and we made the most of what we had, so you know, I think um, Chris, our director, was very happy with it, so, and our producers, so, you know, I was happy. Thank you, Russell, for your kind words. Um, wow, what a weekend. This is the rugby. Now this. Um, I feel lucky to be living in what people are calling the, the golden age of television. Please put your hands together for the wonderful Amy Wodge.